Hi guys, I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today, finally, finally, uh, I'm sharing salt and pepper chicken wings. One of the highest recommended recipe from you guys, not recommended, uh, requested, that's what I meant, requested <laughs> from you guys. Uh, so today I'm finally sharing it. Super duper simple and easy. And only Asian ingredients for this recipe is pretty much the Shaoxing wine, which is a Chinese cooking wine. So yeah, and let's get started. So I have two pounds of chicken wings right here. I prepared the single chicken wings and they are, you know, nice and clean. Anyways, you need two pounds of it. It can be like, you know, plus minus quarter pounds, but not more than that. So we will need about a cup of the Shaoxing wine, Chinese cooking wine. You can find the super duper easy from this Asian or Chinese grocery store and they are super cheap. It's like $2.99 or something like that. Yeah, so definitely get it. If you cannot find it or you have to drive too far to go to Asian Mart, then go ahead and just check the link down below. I will uh, put the link down below where you can purchase on Amazon. And don't surprise when it's a little more than or maybe uh, a bit more than $2.99 because that's what you pay for it to not to drive to the Asian market, okay? Convenience. And I'm going to grate about half tablespoons of ginger. As I mentioned, I think grating ginger and garlic when you're marinating the meat actually works better because all the juice is like coming out by the grater. That's good. And now I'm going to grate about a tablespoon of garlic. So you will need probably one to three depending on the size of the garlic. Since this is salt and pepper wings, salt and pepper is the main flavor coming from. So I decided to use very, very great quality, flaky sea salt, half teaspoon of good quality flaky sea salt or whatever sea salt you have in the house. Any, any salt, any salt will do. Quarter to half teaspoon of black pepper. So black pepper amount is totally up to you. If you like a little more milder, go ahead and add a quarter teaspoon. If you like a lot of black pepper, go ahead and add a half teaspoon. And again, because this is a salt and pepper chicken wings, I would highly recommend to use freshly ground black pepper. That's all the flavor coming from. I mean, we added ginger and garlic too. You know what I mean? Mix everything around. And you can marinate this like 20 minutes or overnight. So you can go ahead and do this the night before that you're making this dish. Or just, just quickly do it. Play Candy Crush, a couple of games and come back. And then you're still cooking. <laughs> okay, I think they are good to go. I'm gonna just... Keep them in the refrigerator after cover with the uh, plastic wrap. And I will see you in 20 minutes. Alrighty, I brought my chicken back. And now I'm going to dust my marinated chicken that in Shaoxing wine, some garlic, ginger, salt and pepper, all the flavors. Let's dust them in potato starch. So you could use cornstarch instead, but I prefer potato starch for this recipe. So yeah, choose whatever you have in your pantry or what. I just want to be on the safe side. Let's do one cup because we are going to dust the chicken wings in the potato starch and it doesn't have to be accurate. I just want to have enough starch to coat the chicken nice and dry outside. That's where all the nice and crispy texture coming out and I've been heating my frying oil over medium heat hopefully it reaches 350 very very soon <laughs> so one chicken wings at a time so trying to drain excess moisture as much as possible from the chicken now just go ahead and you know, cut the chicken wings with the potato starch. 
potato starch or cornstarch if you're using cornstarch. We need enough of it so it won't become a pasty. We want them to be nice and dry. So when we fry them, they're gonna be super nice and crispy. I think a potato or sweet potato starch is a little more crispier than the cornstarch, but cornstarch works just perfect as well. Personal preference, you know. Now, when you are done this process, you have to be ready to fry immediately. You don't want them to sit down like this too long. Then the chicken's moist will absorb all the cornstarch and it won't be the same result, you know what I mean? The best way is actually dust it, drop to the oil. Dust it, drop to the oil. But my stove is way too far for this filming, so I'm just doing this, this, this way so I can show you guys a little more details about it, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and start to dip it into oil. Dip it into, bah, dip it into oil. Fry the chicken wings in 350 degrees preheated frying oil for 12 to 15 minutes. That's depending on the size of the chicken wings that you're using and how crispy uh, it to be done for your taste. I like extra crispy chicken wings, so I'm doing 15 minutes, but it's totally up to you. When the chicken is done cooking, they will start flowing around the surface of the oil. So go ahead and remove from the oil and place on the cooking rack or cooling rack so they will slightly cool down. And do the batches if you need to. The size of the pot I'm using, I'm actually doing two batches. So you do not want to crowd the pot too much. Then chicken will never become crispy and it will take forever to cook. So do the batches. So meanwhile, my chicken is cooking or frying. I went ahead and sliced a quarter of a small onion, three large cloves of garlic, one red and one green chili, and two green onions. I'm going to stir fry them. Okay, chicken looks fantastic. So now I'm going to go ahead and, you know, before chicken get all the way cooled down, I'm gonna stir fry them in the wok. So heat a wok or a large skillet over high heat and add a half tablespoon of butter. When the butter is melted, go ahead and add garlic slices. The salted garlic to let them cook a little bit and then add the rest of all the vegetables. A half teaspoon of salt, eight teaspoon of chicken powder. Okay, the chicken powder is totally optional. Only if you definitely want to make this taste like from restaurant, okay? Um, but if you don't have it, don't want to use the chicken powder when you're cooking, totally fine. You can definitely skip it. It's eight teaspoon, guys. It's like, like this much. But that is what's going to make home cooked meal flavor to your favorite restaurant or even better than your favorite restaurant food. Yeah, that's a little secret. And lastly, add a half teaspoon of black pepper. Now go ahead and add the fried chicken wings and saute everything together. My salt and pepper chicken wings is almost done. Almost. We have a little last touch. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on our serving plate. Look at them, how nice and crispy still. Mm -mm -mm. So much flavor. Better than a take out D. I'm going to sprinkle a little more. What do you call this? Flaky season. Little more flaky sea salt right on top. You can definitely do this with shrimps too. You will love it if you make with shrimp or calamari with tofu. Oh yeah. And some extra black pepper right on top. Guys, I present to you Sungyeong longest version of the best salt and chicken wings. Ta-da! Okay. That shines in my
wanna see it in yours too. So now I sing to you. And when you go, I've been waiting so long. Oh, I'm sorry. So today's feeling was a little tough for me. I know TMI, TMI, but I just like we went uh, the movie night park yesterday and laying down on the grass while sitting on the grass for over three hours actually hurt my back. And I've been 70 years old, man. Oh, she has <laughs> cannot, cannot bend over. I'm like, wait, 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 I need to squat it down. And she still said the show must go on. Show must go on. Yeah, yeah. Show must go on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I love you, Freddy, by the way. Okay. I got my piece. Mm, I got my piece too. Cheers. Cannot do much away because my bag is not moving, but <laughs> nice and crispy, huh? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. You know what my favorite part of it in chickens? Wow. It always makes my lips nice and shiny while I'm eating. I don't have to keep putting the gloss on. <laughs> we got really quiet. I know, we got really focused. My favorite part is like this stir fry the onion and chili. Oh. Sorry. Mm, give me that pepper. Mm. Spicy? It is spicy. <laughs> I mean, you can definitely skip the chili part if you don't like spicy. Give a thumbs up if you like my salt and pepper chicken wings. It's not bad. It's so delicious. Definitely make with the chicken wings like this, or make vegetarian version by using tofu, or using shrimp will be really amazing too. And yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching me today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sanggyeong Longgast, Jacob Longgast, and this is Asian at Home. Subscribe my channel. If you haven't, you're totally missing out. Come on now, subscribe, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the club, guys. Welcome to the club. And if you ever try, uh, try my recipe, go ahead and take a picture. Ching, 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 ching. Uh, tag me on Instagram, Sangyang Longas, or shout out to me on your story. I will shout out you back. All right? And I can love your picture and I will comment on your picture. So don't forget to do so. I love you guys. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Is that actually a song? Yeah. Or are you just mm -hmm. singing it? Is that actually a song? Mm -hmm. You know all kinds of songs. Everything I do, you have like the song to go with it. Ain't no thing but a chicken wang. Ain't no thing but a chicken wang. Reminiscing on the time when we first met I was tongue-tied, super fired What was it that I said? Probably something foolish That didn't make much sense But you remembered a year later when I saw you next When I told you, told you That I need to hold you, hold you You said come right on over, over I could not wait to show you I cherish all your life